What's going on everyone? All right, I got the mad scientist here with me today. Yeah, he, uh, he uh, brought his new ride and uh, We'll be doing some few uh, you know a few things to this vehicle and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it and follow it um, It'll be a slow process for him as far as this one goes um, He really likes to keep uh, he, he wants to keep this vehicle pretty much uh, Drivable he wants to make some power but he doesn't want to uh, ruin the car at the same time. So uh, basically, um, I'm gonna show you the vehicle, we're gonna do a little drive real quick, give you some specs, and we'll go from there. So let's do it. I just had to live with it. Uh, 
I never wanted to buy them. They were extremely expensive, and at the time, Mitsubishi would not sell them. Just the side skirt by itself. They wanted you to buy the front, side, and back uh, all at the same time because of uh, aerodynamic issues. <clears throat> so, for the most part, it's a good thing they finally uh, listened to the people, which they should, and uh, gave up on it and just go ahead, went ahead and started putting it on their standard. Um, for the most part, you know, this is a very quick vehicle. There's going to be a lot of Subaru people that be like, oh no, the Evos suck, and this and that. Fanboys, basically. Um, I personally like the Evo better. That's just me. You know, everybody has their own opinion. Um, but 0 to 60 and 4. Point, I believe it's 4.9 seconds, which is actually pretty quick. Um, and the car handles very. It stays very planted, basically. So, it's a very fun vehicle. I think he's really going to enjoy it. Um, now, I don't know what he plans to do with his Eclipse now, since we did just stick a lot of money into it. Um, I know that's his basically his daily driver um, but he's alternating right now he absolutely loves this vehicle and uh, I don't blame him I'm jealous I was gonna try to get it uh, unfortunately I'm not in a position to to buy it at the moment um, but I'm really happy for him and um, you guys are gonna watch some of the things that we do to it like I said he doesn't really want to do a lot to it he doesn't want to ruin the car um, wants to keep it drivable uh, and this is going to be a vehicle that is kept and maintained um, it's not your standard everyday uh, car I mean, you can make a monster an absolute monster out of these things and th that's fine and all but you can also ruin the drivability of it. so the Evo has a, a good acceleration on it um, to be what it is um, now, technically speaking, I cannot go all out on the vehicle. One, it's not mine, and uh, he wants to baby it. Uh, but it does take off pretty good. Um, the acceleration on these things, I think they did improve it though, uh, from what I used to have. The the power seems uh, more linear than what it used to be. Um, it used to be like it was a really big dead spot as far as taking off, and then you know, of course, that's the turbo lag. But I think they it seems like they did something about that because it does feel a little different as far as that part goes. Um, now, then I will say this: the car does need. pretty linear to me 
Now once we change the uh, intake system on it and change the uh, exhaust on it, that'll definitely, the exhaust will definitely make a big, 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 big difference on the way this car accelerates. I know on mine it was a day and night difference when I went to three inch exhaust. Um, so we're not doing we're not doing a big takeoff here by the way. Now one of the complaints he has is that the car is quiet. Um, and to me He's right. He is absolutely 100% right. This car should not be as quiet as it is from the factory. Um, when I was selling uh, for Dodge, that's one of the biggest problems I had with the uh, the Charger and Challengers. Uh, you get an RT that's quiet as a mouse and doesn't sound like a V8 should. Same thing with this vehicle. Car manufacturers are going through the trouble of making cars uh, just as quiet as they can be when it's the vehicle that it shouldn't be uh, done on. Um, I think every car should have some type of tone, especially if it's a sports car, just like Ferrari, Lamborghini, um, Viper, all those companies, you know, on those vehicles they do it, but on everything else they seem to just lack on. Uh, lack on. Uh, just like the uh, Neon SRT4, those had a really good sound from the factory, they sounded like they should. Um, people complain about the noise. You know, if you don't like it, oh well. But uh, Fiat, in their Arbart, they did the same thing. They put a nice tone to the ex uh, the exhaust, and it sounds good. Even though the car doesn't fit the sound, it's it's completely uh, off. Uh, but it still has the, it, a nice exhaust on it, and it, it drives me nuts when I hear these vehicles from the factory, and they're just quiet. Um, it does have some sound to it, but it's it's not very it's not it's just not there um, So for the most part it's okay but um, Those are just some of the pulls that it has um, like I said, it's not a It's just like half throttle there and uh, Should be a fun vehicle for it. I hope you guys liking it or are liking it basically and uh, just remember to uh, like and subscribe, stay tuned, and uh, we're, we're absolutely going to have some more things uh, on this. Uh, my darks, they're going to be uh, getting some, uh, you know, a few more things. And uh, so is the CRX. The CRX is going to get paint next. Um, and I'll do some videos of, of uh, painting as well. Uh, and then, then after that, I'll be doing some engine uh, work on it. So uh, stay tuned and uh, please like and subscribe and uh, go ahead and share it to some friends. You know, let's uh, let's make some things happen. And uh, just ask away if you have any questions. Uh, I always like answering questions uh, that people send me and uh, giving you links to uh, websites that have different parts uh, for the darts and uh, especially because it's a little bit hard to find for them. And uh, for the people that are wondering about the uh, lips on these on the um, on the darts, uh, go to Steve White Motors. They have the uh, parts that you know for the, for the lips, and then sell it individually or uh, as a whole kit. It is expensive; it's about 650 bucks, uh, and it can be cheaper than going online and buying it. So uh, stay tuned.